Hello everyone, it's Werewolf here. I'm just going to be showing you a short video of how to properly start the BF-109 after the most recent updates. So with the release of the Spitfire, there has been a growing number of BF-109 players looking to jump back into their plane, only to realize that they can no longer start it. So with the most recent updates of DCS, they've actually modified the starting procedure of the BF-109. First I'm going to show you the original way to start the BF-109 and how it's problematic. We'll go ahead and prime the aircraft as stated in the manual as 15 times. Alright, with the aircraft primed and ready to go, we'll open up the cover and pull the starter. Using this method is actually not going to work. As you can see, the engine is not going to turn over. and It'll just keep sputtering, regardless if we put throttle in or not. Using the old method to start the engine requires you to do this process two to three times before it'll actually turn over. This is due to over-priming the aircraft and putting too much fuel into the engine, which in a situation where you've got to scramble is not the best. Alright, now that you saw that the engine is not going to turn over using the old method, I'm going to go ahead and show you the new method of starting the aircraft. To start off, you go to your electrical panel and turn on all switches that are necessary. You can flip them all on if you wish, but I choose to turn off the nav lights, especially if you're going into combat. You're going to want to put the boost pump in the full forward position and the primer all the way towards the top. From there ask the ground chiefs to start up the inertia starter. While you wait for them to rev the engine up you could turn on your guns as well as your ammo counters. We won't be priming the aircraft this way. With the new way of starting, you don't actually have to prime the aircraft anymore, as the real BF-109 didn't require a primer to start. Now in the colder weather, you may have to prime the engine for the BF-109. If that's the case, you could prime it up to three times. But in this new method, you do not have to prime at all. It actually makes things faster, easier, more simple. I hope my tutorial helped you guys. Make you go out there and kill some more Spitfires for me. 